because on slide 10, the question is, what's the difference between scientific induction and just superstition? How is it that superstition works? Superstition is something along these lines. Every time I knock on this table, my neighbor comes in. Knocking on the table and the neighbor have, don't have anything to do with each other. But then I believe because every time it's happening, you know, this is a nice correlation that is being established here. Or every time I sacrifice this goat, rain falls. And so I am very justified by induction, the same kind of scientific induction huh? so far, to believe that slaying goats causes rainfall. Why not? Or like in the example on slide 10, every time the fortune teller has predicted the future correctly so far, so I am justified by induction to believe that the next time she'll get it right. What's stopping me? Nothing. It's the same kind of induction, which is a big problem for science. Because science claims that it has some superiority over this superstition idea. You believe in fairy tales, you believe in horoscopes. Who are you? We are the scientific community. We have a scientific method. We generate facts and knowledge and etc. Well, it's all based on induction. And if it's that kind of induction, it's the same exact thing that generates everything else.